Hey everybody, how's it going? Happy Thursday. It's the uh, second day of my weekend, spending some time here at my BFF's apartment for the time being. And uh, while she's doing her lessons, her uh, Spanish lessons, I am watching a concert that I found on YouTube. Actually, I found it on a Facebook page. Uh, and this video from uh, that's on YouTube. It's uh, the entire concert of this Page and Plant show I saw back in 1995 at the Philadelphia Spectrum. It was October 24th, 1995, and I'm amazed to find a video of this online. I mean, I know people have done like video camera bootlegs and stuff, but I didn't know something like this existed. It's really awesome watching it. It's shot really well. Uh, the set's awesome. Like, it's been, I don't know, whoa, it's, it's, uh, is that 26 years, I guess, and that ago that I saw it? 20, 25, 26, 27 years ago, whatever. Man, it's the only concert I slept out for tickets. There was a, there was a shopping center near where me and my mom lived called Marlton Crossing. I think it's still there. And there was a West Coast video a long time ago, and it had a Ticketmaster outlet. And the owner was a real dick, some this old dude who was just a crotchety old fuck. But it was the closest place to get tickets. So I remember going up there and seeing a group of people already. There was uh, two people at this table with a notepad. You had to fill out your name, get in line. I don't remember what number I was. I was number 20 or whatever on the list. And then more people showed up. But I, uh, yeah, I slept out for those tickets. Um, and I met up with a couple old high school friends Rob Martin being one of them, whom I still talk to here on Facebook. Hope you're doing well, Rob. And um, I think the other friend was Jim. Was it Palermo? I think that was that. That was Rob's friend too. I think at some point. So uh, we had all by chance met up there, and we're like, "Oh man, we're we're here to sleep out for concert tickets." And I normally wouldn't have done that. It's probably a good thing I did, but. Uh, I was uh, friends with this girl at the time who I had her crush on, and um, she was a real fucking asshole. Her name was Susan. In fact, her name was Susan Afferty. If you're out there, fuck you. You're a real bitch. You really were. You're just a real manipulative asshole, you know? And I, I must have had a real low self esteem to, like, you know, be friends with this person. But she was a Zeppelin fan. I was a Zeppelin fan, so I thought, oh, you know, and she wanted, I'm like, Paige and Planner coming. So she's like, oh. Let's get tickets. I was like, yeah, I'll get a pair of tickets. And she's like, I'm like, it goes on sale. I don't know what it was. It was Saturday morning, I guess. She's like, you should go sleep out for the tickets. And I was like, I guess. And she's like, that's going to sell out. You know, you want to get the best tickets you can. I'm like, all right. So I, uh, I don't know. I guess I had a sleeping bag or a blanket. I don't remember what I had, but it was crazy. Like just having to sleep outside of this, uh, of this video store and with a bunch of other people, but. He was just really interesting. I mean, I know plenty of people had done it back in the day before internet ticket agencies were a thing and stuff. And, you know, you know, I mean, there was third market tickets at the time, or third, you know, third market ticket sellers and such, you know, so, but I was like, I'm gonna try to get these tickets. And I got in line, I got the tickets, and uh, yeah, I ended up getting the tickets. So then what happened was, um, I remember getting the tickets, we went to the concert, and, you know, the, and, and I remember this girl I went with, she's like, we were, we got second, we got second level tickets, but I think we were like, in, I think we are in the front row of the, of the second level, and this girl has a nerve to say to me, are you sure you slept out for these tickets? And I said, yeah, she goes, these are such crappy seats, are you, how can you sleep for, out for tickets and get these crappy seats? And I'm like, first off, I'm like, they're a second level deck seats and like we got the front row you could see the band really well like you should have slept out for the tickets if you think you gotta got something better but i we went to the show it was great but it's kind of a blur i didn't remember how much zeppelin they played i knew they played a lot of zeppelin stuff but it's awesome seeing this concert it was a great show the only bad part of it was being with that stupid you know with that really horrible bitch <laughs> who just gave me shit for getting bad tickets quote unquote when i slept out all night for these tickets and she was, her ass was in her bed, like, just waiting for me to get the tickets. No, thank you. No, oh, these are so awesome tickets. She bitched to me all night about how bad these tickets were. And then she wanted to sneak up to all these different sections of the arena. So we're missing, like, a good portion of the show because 
You know, I'm like, is that break on through? I'm like hearing all these songs, but we, she wants to walk upstairs and go. She, we ended up going even higher in the stadium. That's how stupid this person was. She's bitching at me for getting bad tickets, quote unquote, and then she gets us all the way to the top of the arena. She was dumb and she was drunk too, so. And, you know, that was the only bad part of the concert experience. You know, I'm getting good memories watching this concert, but I'm glad I don't know this person anymore because she's a sack of shit and she doesn't deserve anything nice to happen to her. <laughs> That's all I have to say. So just want to let you know that little memory I had. It's great. Check it out. It's on YouTube. I'll put a link in the comments. Check it out. Page plan from 95. I had a great time except for that idiot I was with. So y'all take care. You have a great day.